Greetings to all the truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, your primary source for dissecting the intricacies of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's experiences within the royal family. Today, we're navigating the complex maze of royal relationships, marked by deep emotions and the testing of familial ties. Our focus today centers on Princess Anne's unwavering commitment to maintaining her family's honor, particularly during the period surrounding Queen Elizabeth's funeral, which includes a noted interaction with Prince Harry. Before we dive deeper, we want to express our sincere gratitude for your ongoing support and enthusiasm. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, now is your chance. Don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and activate the bell icon to stay informed. Now, let's explore today's subject. Reports indicate that Princess and, following the ascension of King Charles to the throne, took on a vital role during the events of that day. Her responsibilities included receiving family members, notably Prince Harry, at Balmoral on the day the Queen passed away. When Prince Harry arrived at Balmoral Castle to bid his final farewell to Queen Elizabeth, the atmosphere was charged with tension, amplified by allegations of him exploiting the funeral for publicity. These assertions are elaborated in Robert Hartman's insightful book, Charles III, New King, New Court, The Inside Story, which illuminates the Queen's final months and the events that followed. Prince Harry was greeted by Princess and upon his arrival. With her unwavering commitment to her family, she escorted him to the Queen's chamber for a final goodbye. However, the solemnity of this moment was reportedly compromised by Harry's behavior. Hartman's book characterizes his actions as attention-seeking, embracing a narrative of blame and victimization. Perceiving this as a manipulation of the circumstances, Princess and reportedly responded with disapproval, allegedly asking Harry to depart. This incident highlights in strong dedication to preserving her family's honor during a period of deep grief. King Charles's early decisions as a monarch included assigning Princess and the crucial task of overseeing the unfolding situation at Balmoral, as noted by Hardman. In the days following Queen Elizabeth's passing, Princess and played a crucial role, particularly when Prince Harry arrived. While and initially greeted Harry warmly, the upcoming book suggests a shift in the atmosphere due to Harry's behavior which allegedly crossed certain boundaries. Additionally, the book points out that King Charles and Prince William were notably absent from a family dinner, hinting at potential divisions within the royal family. Sir Edward Young, the Queen's private secretary, has confirmed the Queen's peaceful passing in her sleep, without pain. However, the precise cause of her death remains shrouded in mystery, amid her health struggles throughout 2022. This latest chapter in royal history highlights that even in times of grief, the internal tensions and conflicts within the royal family persist. As we await the release of this insightful book, it promises to shed light on the complex dynamics that unfolded during this pivotal period in the monarchy. What are your thoughts on these recent revelations? We invite you to share your opinions in the comments below and join in the ongoing discussion. Stay with us for more revealing stories and in-depth analysis on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest developments in the royal family. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more captivating royal news. Goodbye.